Here comes the next big thing. The following contest is a fatal four-way extreme rules match. That is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the challenger from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar. What a rookie year for this young man, Brock Lesnar. No, you're not kidding. King of the ring, multiple WWE titles, and he main evented WrestleMania. Brock Lesnar has been on a rampage thus far in his career. He's already unseated main eventers and destroyed legends. Yeah, indeed, his career has grown exponentially in just a matter of months. He's called the next big thing, but he might be the biggest thing already. The game has arrived. The Cerebral Assassin, ready to engage in warfare. This is gonna be good. And introducing the challenger from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, Triple it's all about the game and how you play it, and nobody plays it better than Triple H. Oh, the Cerebral Assassin. An unbelievable talent in the ring. The sadistic son-in-law of the chairman of WWE. From Degeneration X to Evolution, we have seen Triple H amass power in WWE, cultivating strength in numbers. But there's no more room under the learning tree of the Cerebral Assassin. Now he's all about earning the gold and glory for himself. Indeed, the game has never been more dangerous. Introducing the champion from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds. He is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, D. D. Remember, guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands.
Many are predicting a title change here tonight, but this man is looking to prove otherwise. The Big Red Machine is here. And introducing the challenger from the pits of hell, weighing in at 323 pounds, King! You know, for years, WWE fans wondered what was under the mask. Now they probably regret even asking what was under the mask. Pure evil in the eyes of the big red machine. Oh, and those flames are hot. The Intercontinental Championship, one of the most prestigious titles in all of sports entertainment. attached to the Intercontinental Championship. So much weight attached to this match. Yeah, but right now it's all about living in the present, in the now. That's the only way the champ's gonna get out of this with this title of took. Shoulder tackle! Strong impact from Triple H! Uh-oh! Wow, Brock waylays him. He's looking for an implement of destruction under the ring. Hits him with the counter. Triple H exposed here. Oh, down by the DDT. Boom! Did you hear the impact? He's able to combat out of Brock's grip. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. And here comes Old Faithful. The steel chair is in hand. Able to get out of the way. Seeing an answer for every move attempted. The challenger eating up some damage. Up into the... As easy as it may seem to come into a no-DQ match with no plan other than to get violent, strategy can play a role in this. Now's the time for a superstar to get inventive, to get creative when it comes to inflicting damage on their opponents. Sledgehammer right to the gut! Got it! Like that sledgehammer can cause some serious damage. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many! Just in time. Uh-oh. <laughs> and that is a bad man with a hammer in hand. Connects the fist to the face. Great talent. Oh, disturbing impact. There he goes, right into the corner. He moved, but can he capitalize? Boom! <laughs> oh! Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. 
Uh-oh, captured a face buster knee smash. That looks painful. He's making his intentions known to everyone in the arena. Lesnar works him up. Looking for the victory. Two. Oh, and he got him. Oh, oh and a kick out at two. He kicked out. He actually kicked out. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time, but he's got to strike soon. A kendo stick wrapped around the head. Black jab. Oh, Brock put a stop to that. to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Both arms hooked. Vintage Triple H with the pedigree. Gonna see a new champ. Boom, what impact. Interesting spot to be setting up the ladder, guys. Yeah, tell me about it. Oh, good gravy. He went for the ladder? What's he gonna do with that? That's one way to use a ladder. Oh, hold on. Is he thinking of a submission here? Outright presentation of power there. This is a single leg camel clutch and a great oh, no. counter. Oh, my God. Down with a backbreaker. Planning on what to do next. Climbs back inside. Champ looking to end this. Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I think he was just looking to soften him up a little here. There's the sling blade. Basement drop kick. A bad place to be for the challenger. Well, this deep into a fatal four-way match, you gotta expect to be a little worse for wear. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. He has been here before, and he knows what he needs to do. Dodges. Down with force. Taking this outside. This could be good. Oh, what a wind up. Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. And talk about giving a DDT with authority. Boom, DDT. Oh, he retaliates. Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here all day. Power. I think you're right. Rotating vertical suplex. Nicely done. Chair in hand. Bad intentions in mind. Paying it right back with a reversal. Brilliant. Ooh. We can have a new champion. Oh, he's got him up high. The fallaway slam. The challenger being outclassed here. There is no way this can go on for much longer. Oh, God. Pick to the gut. Oh, brutal form. We have seen such a physical match from these combatants, and the wear and tear is starting to show. Now's the time where the smartest competitor needs to take advantage of the situation. He needs to figure out the quickest way to end this. Oh, what's he thinking here, Byron? The game with the double underhook here. Uh -oh. Capitalizes against the game. And if Brock Lesnar looked at me like that tap for the championship. Oh, I thought the champ had it. And you gotta think he's just one final blow. Kane with the grip. All the way up with the championship on the line. He gets back into the ring. Double underhook suplex. Listen to this place. It's unreal. The decibel level in here right now is breaking glass. These fans are on fire. Oh, with authority. And Triple H gets bludgeoned with yet another attack there. Triple H needs to find a little extra steam to get himself out of harm's way. And Kane once again finding the will to stay in this matchup. Hellacious display from the devil's favorite demon. A little more of that, and this one's over. Oh, look at this. Down with 
the sling blade. And a basement drop kick. Caving in the abdomen. Oh man, the beast just might be unleashed. STO! Face first off the knee. And he's pulled the ring apron up looking under there for something. Lesnar looking to bait his opponent into making a mistake. Ooh, avoided the attack with a nasty chop block. I don't know what they're looking for here. That table has only one destiny, and it involves being broken in half for the win. He stops the count. Setting foot in the ring now. Overhand right lands. Incoming. Kendo stick impact. Just one right after the other can't be stopped. The big red machine choke slam straight to hell. Makes the a title cover. Change hands. Still in this, the title hangs in the balance. That's how much winning this title means to give everything you've got. I don't know how much you can have left after that, but you've got to be impressed. And don't think that outcome is going to change Kane's approach. He's as hell-bent as ever. Oh, my God! That'll turn your lights out. Oh, low drop kick right on the patella. Down with a sling blade. And a basement drop kick. Takes their breath out. Effective counter. Oh my, down with authority. Bang it back with their own count. Brace for impact, here it comes. The Beast Incarnate with it. Look at this crowd. It's the target's been acquired once more. Oh my goodness, now that. Covered by the champ. Fred ended. Breaks the count. You gotta believe that some doubt is creeping into the champ's head. This just might be more than what the champ bargained for. What grace! Uh-oh. Veteran instincts from Triple H. Caught square by the Haymaker. Ah, clubbing blow to the back. Holy, meet the barricade. to the gut for that effort. Kick to the gut. Right the round into a neck breaker. Time to play the game. Great reversal. Driven into the barricade. Out it scouted. Delivered into the barricade. Oh, colliding with a barricade. been a hardship for these superstars to get to this point. I think these fans are driving them to claw that extra inch. You can sense the ride these fans have been on, and I'm right there with them. Out thinking the cerebral assassin brought back into the ring from the floor now. Taking this moment to tease him with the kendo stick. Oh, here you go. Category. Good to see a new champ. That's got to be it. Two count on oh, the champ avoids a three count. The title still hanging in the balance. Resilience of a champion on display. Triple H remains composed. He will need to refocus and get back to work to push past the finish line. And these attacks are spelling nothing but trouble. And we might be seeing a competitor crumbling before our very eyes. Triple H plants him with a spine buster. It's time for the game to feast on the beast. Wicked attack for a long time. Oh man, meeting the barricade. Oh. Ah, boom, back drop, suplex. On a high angle, right across the shoulders. ST. 
TKO takedown. Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here all day. Power. I think you're right. Rotating vertical suplex. Nicely done. Oh, gets put into the barricade. Right to the gut. Lesnar looking to bait his opponent into making a mistake. Oh, Kane counters. He's got him scouted. He's back into the ring. Whoa, a single arm back body drop. No clue what he hopes to. I think the paradigm has shifted. What grace. Uh-oh. Quick thinking pays off. Cover for the championship. Makes the cover. Oh, but how? How? You see the look on the challenger's face. So close to becoming champion, but the champ won't stay down. And we can't overlook how devastating that DDT was. Cranked across the ladder now. Uh, I think we all know how this is going to end, guys. Boom! A forearm smash. A uh, sling blade. Followed up with a basement drop kick. Rolling outside, and he's looking like he wants nothing to do with it. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Breaker. Bang! And he gets delivered back into the ring. Close line! Outside the ring now. He has no need to rush. Oh, kick connects. Oh, God. And Kane just daring his opponent to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. Down with a sling blade. Basement drop kick. The cerebral assassin showing how he earned the name, working his way into an opponent's head. Saw it coming and slowed it down with the back elbow. Wasting absolutely no respect on his opponent. You gotta love it. This isn't the smartest thing to do, antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. And gets tossed back into the mat. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Driven down face first. Lesnar is getting the whole crowd behind him now. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing and it could cost him. He's taking this to the floor now. Sure, he's pumping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. The cerebral assassin showing how he earned the name, working his way into an opponent's head. Into a gut buster! Mm. Using the ladder as a weapon! Ouch! Lesnar on the wrong side of that exchange. Breaker. Sit straight into the barricade. Kane turns it around. Knee right to the gut. Treating the torso to yet another attack. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Kane's piercing gaze landing squarely on his opponent. Oh, look at this. A release belly to belly. Into the barricade. Driven into the barricade. Time to play the game. 
This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. Hooked up. Great power. Inverted suplex. Got it. Like that sledgehammer can cause some serious damage. Slam. Intimidation. Part of what makes Triple H the cerebral assassin. Double underhook suplex. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Sure, he's pumping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. He's one step ahead there. Time to play the game. Hits him with a gut wrench suplex. What impact. Sit straight into the barricade. That's gonna hurt. Stop in the leg. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Intimidation, part of what makes Triple H the cerebral assassin. Well-placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Single arm, back body drop. He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Ugh, gets put into the barricade with the reversal. STO! And he keeps his focus on an attack to that area. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. Close line. What impact. Holy meet the barricade. And he gets set back into the ring. This one is headed outside, guys. He catches Kane with a counter. Oh. But returning to the ring. Fire and grab your little dog and warrior your aunt. Tagged with a punch. A stalemate of counters. Oh, hard impact in the corner. Stop in the leg. Picked oh. up. Boom! Backdrop suplex. Now a pin for the championship. Title change. We have a title change. Here's your winner and new WWE Intercontinental Champion, Brock Lesnar. What an explosive fatal four-way. And as the dust continues to settle, here's your winner.